And we're back. This is Helldozer from Zombieland Gaming, and we are going off to tame the Ankis that are over on Herbivore Island. Now, to prepare, I did put uh, Big Boy, Billy Blade, and the Colonel all on neutral, and I did wall off the base with spikes. Now, the only reason that they're on neutral is in case something squeezes through. I don't want to lose half of my base to a single Dilo uh, running around doing whatever a Dilo would do that broke into a base with a bunch of dinos. So, I also built my boat. I'm just petting everybody, making sure everybody is happy. What are you doing? Oh, okay. You're not mine. Um, let's see. So, I built a little house for the three beetles that I have. And it's also roofed, because I don't know if the birds that fly around here will mess with them. So I don't want to come back and discover that everybody is gone. Because, uh, like I said, it had, had happened in my one video, um, I actually lost one of those birds, uh, a dodo to one of those birds. So, I went ahead, I have 26 kibble, it's going to take 25 for that particular um, Anki, the 112. Now, the 20 is only going to take 8, but that's kind of a problem. So, according to Dodo Dex, which is a taming calculator, it's going to be roughly around the same time, maybe by a half an hour more for the level 20. So, I have one piece extra kibble uh, that should hopefully make everything go nice and quick. Now, I built this boat. It's not the greatest boat. Um, but I'm bringing along Storm to kind of harvest and gather a little bit while I'm waiting. Um, I also put on three uh, storage units, and this is what's inside of one of them. So I'm going to take out all my arrow. Well, a good part of my arrows. I'm also going to equip that bad boy, just in case. Um, and I'm bringing along 400 narcotics. I'm actually going to just go ahead and uh, narcotic tame them. And I'm bringing along roughly 400 berries for the level 20. So, without further ado, see you later, guys. Hopefully everybody will be okay. And away we go. Now, it is morning. I might let the sun come up a little bit to uh, kind of illuminate everything so that I'd be able to see where I was going. I am going to stick closer to uh, the land because I do know about the, di the the whale in the water. My boat is wood. I don't feel like losing um, what I've got on me and my dino and the boat. So we're going to try to get there as quick as possible. Um, I am going to have to cross over. So that's going to be a little nerve-wracking, having to do that. And there is, or there was, a an alpha out here. An alpha raptor is a 48 female. I don't know where it went. So what the whole primary goal of today is to be is to get those two Ankis, get them tamed up, get them home. Um, that's going to help with resource gathering. There's a gator out there. Oh, there's the Alpha. Okay, so I'm going to make the choice to go out here a little bit more. In case it decides to turn on me, there's a pretty good shot of it getting eaten by a, by a shark doesn't sound like I don't hear any music so it looks like it's not going to come after me okay so that's the island straight ahead there seems to be solid that's a bird okay Now, while everything I do have 
with the exception of Storm, is replaceable. It, it would just suck losing all those mats for no other reason than a shark decided to come screw with me. Or a whale. Mostly the whale. And I will be upgrading it to stone and eventually metal once I get um, going a little bit. And I, I actually set, if you can see, I set the foundations above, uh, actually on the boat, instead of sinking them down. And that caused me to uh, build a little bit smaller of a boat. But I'm going to go ahead, um, after this is all done and said and over with, to go ahead and maybe make another boat. One that's the absolute biggest that I can get. And that is done by sinking those foundations down and actually applying uh, thatch roofs to the uh, to the foundations on the boat itself and then snapping foundations underneath. But the biggest that I've seen is, is actually getting it to 9x9 nine nine at its widest and longest point. So it's still going to be a little bit of a cruiser. It's still going to be a decent sized boat. It's just they've kind of played games with how the whole boat system works and stuff. So I'm going to do what I can and probably have, I'll probably make a couple of boats. This one, the one I'm going to make, and then just like a little small one to go out and just kind of cruise around in. But this is definitely going to be like a barge, like going and doing stuff like this. So we're getting close. We're at the island now. And if you were going to make a base, I mean, if you can make it out there, out to this island, or spawn there, it's definitely a good place to go ahead and uh, build a base. It's called Herbivore Island for a reason, and that's the double-edged sword, because you're around a bunch of herbivores, so you're not going to have the chance to really get, like, a Rex and stuff, so... The one server that I had played on, they had actually, a, a, a clan had actually been out here and had uh, made a bridge. So that's one option, but it took a lot of materials. There were three or four of them working on it. They got it built, they had it built, and they would upgrade it. And it was still a, it was still a massive undertaking. I mean, there are still people that trolled them and screwed with them a little bit. Okay, it looks like they're still here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to park it up right over here like so. Alright. So, yep, that's them. The 112 and the 20. So, I'm going to take... I'm going to move this a little bit, I think. It always kind of mystifies me how, after you're beached, how it can still turn. See, I just don't want to have them hook into it and then bash the hell out of it. Okay, this will work. Alright, because I have a... Okay. So Storm is... Okay, she has whistled down. Oh, hello. How are you? Hopefully get some oil out of you. Not one oil, three pearl. 25 chit, and that's not bad. I'm going to go ahead and put all my extra stuff on Happy here. Okay. Now, it does not look like... Oh, they did separate. Alright, so this is the small one. We're going to go ahead and start up on him. And he is taking it like a champ. Now these are really easy, because they have a bad turning radius. Oh, and the 112 is coming. Oh. Oh, missed him. No, don't go in the water. And down, 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 down. Alright, good. So that's that guy. So I'm going to let him bake a little bit. Okay. So he's down. He's he's out of the water. That's what I like to hear. And that's good. Now for her. And you want to get the head. Um, obviously, because that's where the torpor is going to build up the, the best. 
and have the best chance of putting them down nice and easy like. And again, these are really easy to kite. It's not a big deal. I just don't want her to turn on the boat. Oh, 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 excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, she's going to be going to sleep. The key is not getting caught. And the fact that she is taking these like a champ and... Oh, 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 oh! Oh, God, no! I thought she was going down. Oh. Yep, she's getting close. Please don't go in the water. Oh, please don't go in the water! Ugh. No! Oh my god, no. Please come back. Please make it back. Oh, this is going to be so bad. Alright, I'm just going to go... I'm just going to go over here. She'll come back to land. We'll all be happy then. And she went down in the water. Oh... My God. Oh, my God. I cannot believe she... Oh, my God. And there is nothing I can do. I can't push. I can't... Oh. This is so... Absolutely heartbreaking. It's my own fault. I should have gone farther up the hill. I don't honestly think there's any way to even get her on land. I am so upset right now. She's going to drown. There's nothing I can do. There's literally nothing I can do. I cannot believe this has happened. I just... Oh my god. She was right here. She was literally five seconds from being up on land. And that's it. She's out of air. Yep, she's dead. I don't even know what to say right now. I am... absolutely speechless to what just happened. Oh my god.
Oh my god. Well. It is called Herbivore Island for a reason, so we'll take a look around. I am so totally dejected right now. I am... absolutely speechless to what just happened. That's a 52. That's a 32. And things just started to look up. Okay. That I can deal with. Um. Huh. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this guy around to where I am. Well, why not try? Okay, so what the new plan is. I'm going to get this guy over and around. I'm going to get him up onto land. Come on, unhook. You can do it. There you go. All right. I got to watch that... The crossbow. Because it is... Wow. Wow. Okay. Um... Oh, hello. Um... Hmm. The crossbow is getting a little damaged. I really don't want you to drop off and you dropped off. Damn. Alright, I'll take the risk. Come on. Let's go for a ride. Oh, and I pulled a 76. That's not good at all. Really? Alright, we'll knock that down. Alright, the boat should be right over here. Yeah, there's the rock I was parked at before. And... Yep, that's right there. Okay, so... It's kind of an interesting turn of events. Okay, let's get a little chow. Oh, of course the four is there. Why wouldn't the four be there? So I'll pull the 116. Well, I'll take the four home too. I'm not afraid of that. The male 76 is right there. Okay, the four is dropped off from me. So it's just this guy now. And... The 16. Oh! There's the one say, okay, he pulled a, a friend with him. Alright, so we're gonna... Now, if you think you're going to lose threat, just stay up on him. Kind of like the... Oh, and he pulled two more. Okay, so... It's kind of a cat and mouse game, so this is going to be a little bit more of an educational video today. On what to do and what not to do. And he pulled a whole army with him. Alright.
Okay, now I know what he said about getting into the water, but I just want to get around this rock. So we're going to trim it a little low. So I'm going to I'm going to angle to lock him into these rocks, which is what I should have done with that female. I feel so dumb. Oh, he brought, uh, a friend. All right, good. All right, we're looking to get him unconscious. And he's down. He's down, he's down, he's down. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be taking home three. Because I'm going to lock him in to take him home too. Why not? Everybody's getting berries. Well, except for Big Boy. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we got three Ankis on the ground. Um, it should be fun. Okay, so... I'm, of course, thirsty after all of that running a boot. I'll get some water. So it looks like we're going to be spending a little bit of time out here today. Um, yeah, this should be fun, right? So, we're going to go ahead, drop berries on him, we'll get him good and liquored up, now, one of the things you can do is, it's called starve taming. Now, I'm not sure on the science of it, or the mechanics, how it works, on and on and on. I'm not, I, I used to do it just to, um, like, if, if I was going to do what I just did, if I was going to knock down a few things, I would let the first thing starve up a little bit. It makes them supposedly appreciate the food a little more, it makes the taming process go by, all of this business. I don't, I don't know. Uh, there's people that were for it. There were people that said it worked. There were people that said, you're full of crap. It doesn't work. Uh, whatever. Um, I never really noticed any big um, bonus or change in the time of it. So I can't say yes or no. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Uh, I'm going to let these guys tame up and get ready to roll out. And we shall be right back. And we're back. This is Hel And we're back. This is Helldozer. So what happened was, I wound up finding a 116 male that tamed out to 173. It was a straight kibble tame. I have a 27 male and a 23 male. Um, they all kind of came along for the ride. Uh, the 20 was the one that I dropped down on the on the beach here. This guy was the one, the, I think it was a level 4, that um, came over with this guy. Now, I'm still pretty upset about not getting that 112 female, but I'm kind of torn. I don't know, um, I don't want to necessarily leave without getting a female. So what I may wind up doing, this is a 76 male here. I'm not real crazy about going back with all males. I want to go back with definitely one, hopefully two females. So I'm going to cruise the beach uh, and take a look and see if I can scope out any females. Now, having berries and uh, knockout juice is not the problem. Um, it's just spending the time away from home. So it's going to be a little bit of a game of cat and mouse trying to find the females. Um, I'm really honestly happy with any level female. I just want a female to start making some eggs. 
and I cleaned out that part of the cliff. I don't know if you could see, but I had cleaned out that part of the cliff really rather well. There's no rock, metal, or tree, or really even anything for fiber, because I went crazy collecting everything. So let's see what this guy is. Okay, that's a level 4 male, not interested. And these Brontos, they drive me freaking crazy. That's a male that has a relationship right now with a level 4. So, I may... See, I... Ankies are probably my third favorite dino. I really don't want to just kill them to kill them. I'm kind of hoping that there was going to be another female, another couple of females running around, but if I have to take that four, well, beggars can't be choosers. Oh! Nope, that ain't gonna work. Oh, and I knocked them all in the water. Oh, it was such a pain in the butt getting them on. Well, not really a pain in the butt, just organizing them. I had them arranged so nice on that side, too. Come on. Oh, boy. Yeah, come on. Up the ramp, up the ramp, up the ramp, up the ramp, up the ramp. Come on. You can do it. I have faith in you. Come on, buddy. All right. All right. Come on. I promise not to dump you off in the middle of the ocean. You're too valuable to me right now. Okay. So... Let us uh, take this turn. Now I know that there is a shark in this bay earlier. So, yeah, oh, that's a dolphin. Alright, so we're going to make like this into the bay, pretend that nobody sees me, nothing going on, just a boat with an uh, three Ankies and a trike named Storm. So, let's go. an Anki there. That might be one of the ones. Yeah, that's one of the ones that was over there. Uh, the 116 I had pulled from over here. So we shall see what we have got, because that's the last chance saloon right there, whatever that one is. And that's a 32 female. That'll have to suffice. Um, I'll run over, see if I can pull that other female. Get a double tame going on. Alright, we'll grab you, and we will grab uh, you, and you, and you, and you. Alright, so we have the bow. Okay, so those are dropped in, because as you can see on my crossbow, there's not much left. So... No time like the present. And it was really kind of funny 
I almost started recording again, but while I was taming, right where that 116 had dropped with the other guy, there was a Bronto. There was literally nothing else in the area. Ow! Ow! There was nothing else in the area except for a tree. And there was that 104 female Bronto that just had to be part of the game. She literally got hooked up on my stuff. On my guys and on a tree. I was like, this kind of stuff only happens to me. Like, this happens to me. But it didn't attack. I didn't attack it. We made friends, talked real nice to each other, and she wound up going away. Okay, so that other one's over there, and it's a four, and it's not going to take real long to drop it and tame it. So I may just cruise back over there. Um, but I'm going to... Uh, actually, I'm going to grab those and that. Because apparently I still have 13 kibble. I don't know how. Um, I'm thinking it might be something having to do with being a single player game, which, yeah, I'm not real thrilled about, but there's not much I can do about that. But, um, I still have some extra kibble. I really don't want to mess with you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to gather more resources and be a good little farmer. I will, um, pause the game while she is taming up and come back when everything is good and done. So, be right back. And we're back. So, I've had a fun day of, uh, excitement and exhilaration. Um, what we have here is we have three mated pairs. Um, the biggest being the 116 that tamed out to a 173, and the lowest being a 5 female that was actually a level 4. I just gave her two pieces of kibble just so that I could get out of here. I've been away from home for a couple of days, well, game days. So we're going to get the old tub uh, turned around, and we're going to get out of here. We're going to get home, see what's been going on at home, see if we have some oil on uh, the old bugs, and uh, just basically see what's been going on at home. So we got everybody packed up. I did pack up my three uh, cases over there with materials. I mean, there's, there are some uh, trank arrows and regular arrows, my uh, axes, bows, my crossbow. Uh, they actually broke. I broke all my weapons except for my pick. So we got a decent amount of stuff. So... It was a, a very fruitful run. Um, still lost the 112. Still a little salty about that, but not much I can really do about it. Um, it's just live and learn. Um, obviously, don't tame close to the water. Uh, get them out there. and Pull them up into land and uh, do it like that. Try and trap them behind some rocks and some trees. And don't do what I did on that 112. Just kind of trimming along here and there is a whale in the ocean and when I was messing with that 112 female um, you could see it if you go back and look supposedly that thing makes a ton of oil there's a problem though it's followed by pretty much everything under the sea sharks stuff like that and apparently it's the idea of cleaning it and all of this so I don't know if I will ever be attempting that, or I, I know that it's possible. I just, uh, after my excursion into the ocean and losing my Sarko, the water has always kind of intimidated me. I don't really like going down there. I've had a lot of bad experiences. Granted, they were noobish experiences, but, you know, they didn't have the giant squid, the eels, the uh, jellyfish. Um before so it, it was scary enough just going into the water now you have everything headhunting you so my next goal uh i guess for the next video what i'm going to be doing is is getting um getting a wall put up uh around my base so that i can go to the second phase of getting the uh next i guess you could say 
inner wall maybe uh, together and get that guy going and start putting like the trikes, the Ankis, stuff like that out there. Uh, the Bronto and the Rex are definitely going to be for the next uh, expansion after that where the big dinos will go. And that's probably going to wind up being up on that little hill there. So I definitely have my work cut out for me. My, I usually try to, I usually make big plans and try not to overextend, but that generally uh, never really happens. I wind up biting off far more than I can chew. As you can see with the house that I decided to build, it um, it's a work in progress, but it's definitely coming along. I'm also going to be trying to finish that up. The, the biggest problem is going to be is getting the um, crystal for uh, the greenhouse. I don't want to spawn it in. I'm trying to do everything legit and on the up and up. I don't want to spawn in dinos to tame. I don't want to do that, which is going to present its own problem with a Quetzal. I know that it is highly difficult to try to do solo. I tried doing the parachute method. I haven't tried doing the um, uh, the climbing hook method, but that looks just as frustrating as um, the parachute method. So that's honestly the only dino that I may spawn in. Um, I haven't really decided yet. Um, I'm still thinking about what I want to do as far as that's concerned. But that's kind of far off into the future, and I really don't have to worry about that yet. So, Okay, we have a turtle out here. And I was mainly concerned about the Sarcos getting in and causing a little bit of havoc. That's how I wound up getting the Sarco that I had. So, alright. We're going to go ahead beach it up here. I'm going to take down... See, I don't know if I want to take down this wall because this wall is nice and tight. What am I doing? Oh, that's why I can't get up. Alright, fair enough. I know that I was a little bit more liberal over here with the spacing of the spikes. So, I'll probably just go ahead. I'm going to make an Anki saddle. Uh, demolish this guy. Uh, yeah, that should be okay. Right there. So, big boy. It does not look like big boy really moved. So I'm going to empty this out and demolish this so that I can get everybody in. Or demolish this so I can get everybody in. Thank you. Uh, doesn't look like anybody's really moved, so I'll whistle them back down. Keep your fingers crossed. Going for some oil. And we don't have any, so I know that they're on... I know that they're on Wander. Okay. Yep. I don't know what that deal is, but I, that's what I will look at next, I suppose. Alright, so that's where everything is, has kind of gone around in these parts. So, this is Heldozer for Zombieland Gaming. I thank you for watching, and check out my other videos in my series, and if you see something you like, please go ahead, like and subscribe, send me a message, or uh, uh, leave a comment, and I will see you guys next time.